to Niang. Right around a minute and a half played here in the third quarter. Here is House. Here's Harden. Driving in. Comes up empty down low. And the Celtics with possession here. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. And it's White missing. Harden left side. White with the defensive effort. You know, I think the effort on defense there has everything to do with why he missed that shot. Well done. Outside, Horford. Pass to White for the lead. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And so teams take on the attitude of their city. And over the years, Philadelphia has been one of them. The Sixers known for having tough teams, much like the town. Hey, Greg, you mentioned the 76ers have taken on the identity of Philadelphia. In your estimation, how? Huh? You know, you go all the way back to the 80s. This has been a team that plays hard, focuses on defense, gritty, much like their city. So they tend to play with a chip on their shoulder. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Pass to Niang. Lee outside. The 76ers again can't hit it. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Pass to Melton. Philadelphia moving the ball around. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. Brogdon's versatility really on display there. I mean, he's a guy who can hurt you in a lot of different ways. To stop the run. And Lee with the stuff. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their four leader. And it just forces the defense to pay more attention to him, guys, which we know can open up things for others. Inside. Here's Harrell. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And guys, not much more the defender can do in that situation. Harrell with the focus and the strength to just power through Checking the contact. The Sam Houser. There's Brogdon. He's been producing a fair amount of offense night in and night out as he's averaging 14 points a game. Hit by Horford. And two free throws hey. coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And Brogdon traded over the summer to the Celtics. I'm interested to see how he'll fit with the rest of the Celtics guards. And they certainly have a deep rotation now and a lot of flexibility. Well, I love the leadership of Brock. He's always hard at work for his team. He's facilitating, communicating, providing offensive energy and direction. Love what this guy brings to the court. Pass to the end. With the second effort. And no problem from Harrell as he finishes at the rim. Harrell is an elite offensive rebound. He's actually one of my favorite guys to watch work the glass. With the crossover, in deep, Smart drops it in. Smart's got the lead up to four now for the Celtics. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Harold. And that one is off. Hey. Now Boston takes it the other way. Pass to Smart. Al Horford. Side Griffin. Basket counts. Smart's got his second bucket of the night. There's 21 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Nian. Launches it. The shot. No good. Outside Horford. He's looking for Griffin and finds him. That's it's close, but you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Yeah, and as quick as players are at this level in this day and age, I mean, you've got.
got to be perfect in your anticipation to draw the charge. And he sinks the second. And Blake Griffin is just an incredible athlete, explosive and great balance and mobility, powerful. A big, big guy who can flat out throw it down, but he also can pass it too. And so it's Boston. Turn it on, uh, no delay. The 76ers trail by seven. Here's Harden. Epic counts. Harden's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the 76ers. Well, I tell you what, with Harden, sometimes it seems the more the defense bodies him up, the more determined and effective he is in scoring. To the middle, Griffin with the steal. Here's Brogdon, pass to Horford. Outside to Brogdon, launches a three. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Side. Shoots the three. Knocks down the three ball. Harden's got five points now this quarter. It, it took a long time for him to get that first triple. But let's see now, though, if he can get them. Pass to Griffin. To the paint. There's Horford. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And one on MD. And they're drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. And, and guys, I think it's exactly the right thing to do with the lead. Keep going at defender and find a way to get yourself to the line. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Hey, Harden. Harden hit this stuff. Harden ball handling is absolutely off the chain insane. I mean, easily carving up the defense. Now a timeout called by Boston. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldrin. Hey, Kevin. Well, the head coach for Boston had some instruction for the guys during the timeout. He told them, hey, this game is there for you, but we got to go get it. 50-50 balls. Get into the basket. We have to yes, give it sir. right now. Kevin. Thank you, David. And defensively, you can't back off him that much. You don't want to give up easy threes at this stage of the game. Harden gets the bucket. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just awesome. The Shards doing all he can to bring him back. Outside, Horford. This ball moving by Boston. And finished off by Williams. You know, Horford is really Take good and back. selective at when he needs to be aggressive and when he needs to move the ball. That's to Embiid. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. You got more luck. Celtics leading by four. Now smart. And B is sort of to the other side. Here's Harris. Foul in the end of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash-mouth physical basketball, guys. Tell you what, fellas, I mean, an outstanding stretch for Harris has been awesome in adding pieces to his game over time, specifically that three-point shot. Here's Brown. And he converts the layup. Hey, and with Brown, guys, Ooh, it doesn't matter foul. what point in the game it is. I mean, he's ready to shoot whenever he has the ball in a good spot. Now here is Harris. And stolen by Horford. Pass to Cornette. And he oh, my 
You gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right, and that severe punishment <laughs> right there. Exactly. I mean, when you're running neck to neck, those kinds of mistakes tip the scale. And you want to take in big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots. Hey. Hey. Second prestige level 123. Just only by playing Warzone 2, I'm experiencing uh, a lot of issues through uh, through all the time. But they came out with a fix. Oh, got you. But still experiencing quite a few issues. Uh, is it true that Metal Gear Solid remake is going to be real at the Game Awards? Uh, everything is rumor. Everything is rumor. Uh, don't. Uh, it's trend. Uh, no, Metal Gear is not trending. But yup, yeah, we heard from a, uh, as they like to say, good sources. That it's gonna happen, and I believe it's gonna happen. GTA 6 is trending, but we're not getting GTA 6. We're getting a new trailer, though, but not for GTA 6. We're getting a new trailer, though, but not for GTA 6. Possibly GTA 5 update. Uh, it was a wither, guys. It was a wither. Uh, we'll be back. Ended up doing a few hours of, uh, at work on a day off. Gotta do some, uh, drop some paperwork. Can't wait to get back and chill with the, the chat master. Yo, Dr. AMD. Right, man. I got you, brother. I got you, man. Be on time, brother. Be on time. We're gonna be having some Last of Us 2 Game Awards today. Yo, it would be hilarious, and part of me really wanna see. Uh, <clears throat> I, I really wanna see at least Last of Us 2 be nominated. Just for the memes. Just for the... Well, well, I know most of you like... Well, well, bro. Bye, 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 bye. For the memes. For the memes. I wanna, I wanna, because it would be hilarious if they come out today and be like, guys, uh, uh, Last of Us 2, it is nominated for the best game of the year. Two times in a row. It would be hilarious. People would go crazy. People would just lose shit. And I want to see that, man. There are people that sometimes, some men, they like to watch the world burn. I'm not one of them, but I love to, uh, I would love to see Spider, uh, like, last of us too, and like, be nominated and shit. Just for the memes that everybody will go, pin reviews, man, pin reviews, uh, pin, bro, toxic control, man, YouTubers, man. Yeah, man, I, uh, today we're gonna be having a lot of, uh, those, uh, comments. A lot of people will be like, you mean, the, 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 the reviews, okay. And honestly, that's probably the best thing about Game Awards. Like, last year, Everybody were going like paid, bro, paid, and she was kind of wild. I mean, it was kind of boring, but it was kind of wild. I, I, I did enjoy my time. One in the chat if you want to see last one, two, two if not, two if not. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know your thoughts. Regardless of whether you love it or you don't like, like it, right? Like, this is not, but there's a chance we might get something for Spider-Man 2. Hopefully, man. At least something. I mean, come on. I mean, damn, bro. Kind of brother, perhaps. Since we're gonna be not. <laughs> Yo, man. Yo, honestly, I would lose my shit, bro. Like that would be insane. Uh, today, guys. Let me do this. Today, guys. Uh, we are not. 